all right guys we're out here today it is august 5th um it's pretty warm out today as you can tell i'm dripping sweat everywhere but we're fixing to do something kind of unique um we've i just got done talking with a landowner earlier today on this property we've been hunting for i don't know how many years in the past but uh, it's a really good property um especially up until the middle part of november once all the food out in this area gets cut all the corn gets taken out the beans get cut and they eat up all the, the stuff that's left on the ground a lot of these deer move um, we're right on the kansas and oklahoma line and a lot of these deer go down into oklahoma um, that we've noticed in, in this particular area anywhere anyway but talked with the landowner and in the back corner of this bean field that we're fixing to go in um, the deer have just annihilated the the beans and this is a late they got these beans out pretty late um, so they kind of terminated the deer terminated these beans at the critical stage whenever they're like three or four inches tall and they nipped them down to the ground and now a lot of them aren't coming back up and putting on more growth so there's a lot of bare soil back there um, and it's a perfect scenario just to go in there and throw this deer greens mix out I mean it's already a prep soil bed um, so we'll see we may not do the entire acre this this is 30 pounds of deer greens mix so I don't know if we'll do the entire bag full we'll do at least half of it so cover up to a half acre and that'll allow us to, to have a good food source to hunt um, in the later season after all the crops are taken out and I mean it, it'll just be a good place for these deer to stop you know within bow range possibly of, of our stand that we're most likely gonna clear a tree out down in this hedgerow and uh, see if we can get a spot that we can just do a hanging set hanging hunt set in there so anyway it's a it's a good property yesterday my mom was back here with me and we set up some Meyer trail cameras and we jumped a total of seven bucks and one of them was a really good deer uh, so kind of excited to see that and then there was another pretty good deer so anyway i'm going to quit talking we've we've got a little bit of a hike back here so with a lot of gear so we get to sweat it out some more we'll see you guys in a bit guys so this is the area right in this corner this is the area that the deer just kind of mowed down pretty much and and also those morning glories as you can see right here they just I mean, they were very invasive on this spot right here but uh so yeah Madison spreading seed I mean it's about 30 yards 25 yards from the uh, edge of the hedgerow here to into the field. Um, so yeah, and he's going down. I mean, he's way down there, 100 yards or so. But uh, so yeah. a wrap uh, we ended up spreading I don't know probably just over a half acre um, I mean as you can tell I and mean, there's definitely a few beans in here but they're super super sparse um, not near like it is once you get out further in the field but you can tell that for the most part the majority of the green stuff that's on the ground right here is all morning glory stuff I don't know if Logan already told you guys that or not but it's uh vining morning glory and that stuff is for some reason this field has completely got over overrun with it um so we'll see what happens to the deer greens mix hopefully i mean as fast growing as deer greens are um it shouldn't get choked out but I, i'm sure some of it will that's kind of why i spread the seed fairly thick 
Um, but I mean, it's a perfect scenario for something like this. I mean, as long as the, I would definitely recommend before you do this, if you have permission on a bean field or even a corn field, um, definitely talk it over with the landowner first. Um, but you know, th this can take browse pressure off of the beans or the corn, um, whichever scenario you're in. But uh, you know, you just before you do it, you just want to make sure everybody's on the same page. So, but anyway, um, we do have a, a stand right here in a, a hackberry tree. Uh, I don't know if we'll end up moving that. It's in a decent location, but uh, it's in years past the way the deer come underneath that stand it's kind of hard not to get busted up in that tree so we may uh, take a stand further down this way I, I don't know we'll see what happens but I'm sure later on this fall we probably won't come back in here and even check cameras until the end of this month uh, but I'm sure later on this fall you guys will see us sitting in this corner somewhere and hopefully filming some deer so anyway that'll wrap it up for this for this part so we're gonna get out of here